I have a bucket list of games I want to plan on. So I decided to make my next journey to be... Metal Gear Solid 2 was released in North America on November 13, 2001, and was developed by Kojima Productions. The game was seen as a leading example of artistic expression in video games, and is also considered ahead of its time even now with its themes of fake news, alternative news, and even AI taking over. Before we start, special shout out to Jacob for sticking by me throughout most of this journey, and Bayo for yet again being there for me while working on the final trophy in the game. With that being said, let's get ourselves a platinum, boys! Now, to get this platinum, Konami decided to make this arguably harder than the PS3 release, because we have to get the Big Boss Trophy, with the strictest requirements out of the entire series. But for right now, I'm not gonna worry about that since we get our very first trophy, Kissing Booth, where we have Snake, the legendary soldier that single-handedly destroyed a Metal Gear and stopped a group of terrorists by himself, kiss a pinup poster. Huh? Hmm. Let me try to do it in the locker. <laughs> Does it, yeah, if I look at these like pinup pictures, like <laughs> you can see Snake like, like, like he's like breathing heavily. Like you can tell he's just like masturbating. His like, Otacon's like, what the fuck you doing? Come on, I know you want to do it. Keys. Hey. <laughs> oh, you got it. Well, I got one of them. It's also here where we get the Snake Beater Trophy, yes, it's called that, for staring at a pinup poster and getting yelled at by Otacon for it. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Snake <laughs> Beater. <laughs> it's such a funny name. Kojima is such a pervert, and I am here for it. Though, I think Otakon is ready to punch Snake's lights out, which is exactly what the next trophy is called, where we have to defeat the first boss, Olga Gerlukovich. A reminder that we just pumped Olga with a bunch of tranquilizers. And she's pregnant. Picking her up also gives us a dog tag for another trophy. <laughs> <laughs> I just know. Oh, there. And I'm gonna. Why is it? Why is it a picture of right in my shirt? I don't know. I don't like it. That's kind of animal control. Is he a bear? <laughs> I'm like, hold up. We sneak around the tanker and find some interesting sights. Ha <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> And speaking of sights, we get another trophy called Spaghetti Cinema for just looking at Ocelot in the cutscene. Also called Revolver Ocelot. Spaghetti Cinema, what? <laughs> Meet Revolver Ocelot. <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting a, a trophy in the middle of a cutscene, okay. <laughs> also, I love the fact that they they just use the the PS1 graphics instead of like making a quick like updated like screenshot of <laughs> yeah, like twin snakes or something. <laughs> now then, we play as everyone's favorite protagonist, Raiden, and for the first trophy with him is Hurt Locker for putting an enemy in a locker. Trophy. We continue delving deeper into the big show where we get an M9 tranquilizer, which we'll need for a later trophy. We also meet Vamp, meet not Snake, and get reminded of my worst nightmare. <laughs> May Lord have mercy that I never see another VR mission ever again. There's VR mission trophies in this game too. Yeah. <laughs> not to mention this one brilliantly voice acted line. Here we go. A dud. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way he says it. A dud. <laughs> so good. We then meet Peter Stillman, and together with Not Snake, we become the Bomb Squad. 
Which is the trophy we get for learning how to defuse a bomb. No. <laughs> bomb squad. I love those memes. It's like, did you know Sonic fans printed fake money to, uh, and to destabilize the US dollar? Look up Sonic inflation for more. As we go around defusing bombs around the entire first quarter of the Big Shell, i also been collecting the iconic cardboard boxes as we will need this for the trophy, Moving Day, as we'll soon get. After defusing the bombs and seeing Steelman explode, we come across Fortune, and we have to survive her onslaught to get the next trophy, Lady Fortune. After that whole shebang, we have to make our way to... <sighs> we have to fight... Fat Man. Every time I look at him, he refers to him as I think of Uncle Fester from the Anna's family. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> like, now that you mention it, it's like, holy shit, it does look like Uncle Fester. <laughs> now, if you're wondering why I sound upset, well, let's just say this guy becomes the pain in my existence in the future. <laughs> but for now, let's end this party. I think I think it's the first time I ever like, well, one beat him that fucking fast, and the fact that like he um, the bombs were still about to like blow up if, <laughs> like I usually like Daniel like or like oh, no. take care of all the bombs and then take them down. We learned some new information, but more importantly, we had to expose these guards for the sick weirdos they are in order to unlock the next trophy to catch a predator. We had to get these guys to watch porn. A book? What am I, a nerd? <laughs> it's actually a porn book. <laughs> really? Yeah. I'll use it on this guy over here in this hallway because I think he's he's solo. <laughs> here we go. <laughs> the achievement, the, the trophy name too. To catch a predator. Now the next trophy. Uh. uh well, it was kind of weird. I collect this box, and after about two or so minutes, the trophy pops for collecting all the boxes. I just got a trophy for getting all the boxes, even though I got that box like two minutes ago. Okay. Yeah, I don't get it, but we take those, I guess. Now we talked to Ames to learn more information about the US president, but there was also an opportunity to hear Johnny Sasaki from the first game using the toilet, which is needed for a later trophy. Eh, this is boring. Oh. I hear someone. Must have hit that Taco Bell before the <laughs> operation. Good old Johnny. Oh, there's no paper. No. <laughs> <laughs> Once we learn the location of the president and get the trophy, we escape the Shell One core and destroy a few security cameras that unlocks the next trophy. Bye bye, brother. We make our way to the president and get some help from Not Snake on a chopper, but unfortunately this is a no-fly zone, which is what the next trophy is called for defeating the Harrier Solidus is flying. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> what a riveting boss fight. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> You're tougher than I thought! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was badass. <laughs> This is a no-fly zone. We defeat him in... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. We meet the president and get some interesting exposition, but explaining MGS2's story is like explaining what King Crimson does in JoJo Part 5. It just works. We explore the Shell 2 core, which is completely flooded, and we finally fight Vamp in the most honorable way possible. Done. <laughs> that was way easier than I thought. <laughs> Dude, that was. <laughs> Vamp, after that humiliation, I think you need a hug, which is exactly what the next trophy is called for meeting Emma Emmerich and uh, making her wet herself and. Gives a no, lot of exposition. Letters, right? It could have been thirty letters. What if the four delete with? Impossible. It's not. In fact, something similar is already underway. Do you know how many genes exist in an individual? About thirty to forty thousand. Right. That's what was in that. <laughs> now the way out of this water death trap is covered by a punch of sea lice, which is exactly what we need to cover our rations for the next trophy. My rations! And my evil ass made sure Emma was along for the bug ride. Yeah, I do like it now, bitch. There we go. We make it further with Emma and make it to the sniping section where we have to protect her. It's here we get two trophies. I used a PSG-1T sniper rifle that uses tranquilizers and finally earned the trophy. Don't tase me, bro! And later when Emma gets behind one of the columns, she comes across a familiar sounding guy. <laughs> Don't mention it. Just run like hell. Oh no, my stomach. Not again. This place is about to sink. Just get out fast, okay? Oh. Wait. What? What's your name? Don't have one. Huh? Okay, fine. It's Johnny. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Hey, if we run into each other again. <laughs> it's the picture of a toilet! <laughs> <laughs> Once we protect Emma and cheese vamp. We need to run to the computer room and use a disc to shut down Arsenal gear. But first, we need to collect the camera. But I guess Snake doesn't like that because now we get knocked out. Bedtime, right? We wake up and... Oh. 
Well, I don't think Olga likes what she sees because she punched us a trophy. Sharing is caring. Now, we need to run off and meet Snake, but Raiden is too dummy thick, and the clap of his ashy keeps alerting the guards. So, oh, I finally got caught throughout the entire fucking game. Snake gives us a sword with a trophy. How nice. Now the real challenge is upon us. We have to fight so many Metal Gear Rays. I think it's time we put on some appropriate music. Well, after that mess, it's time to fight our papa, Solidus Snake. Now, I need to let you guys know that we can only fight Solidus with the sword, but the controls are a little awkward. But once we got the pattern down, he wasn't too bad, which gives me confidence for the eventual big boss run. Also in this very wonderful ending, we see Vamp in the background. I guess his appearance in MGS4 makes sense after all. And for beating the game, we get a total of three trophies. One for completing the game, beating the game with no kills, and beating the game with zero alerts. Yeah, I just reloaded the game when I got caught. Sue me. Now that we beat the game, it's time we take care of a few miscellaneous things before we go after that legendary big boss run. First of all, we need to read the screenplay book for MGS2. Easy enough. Next on the list is to shoot down an enemy radio. Now we need to disorientate an enemy with smoke. Next we held up 30 enemies. Then we down an enemy with hot smoke. We then break 30 necks. Next, we had to collect all the weapons in the tanker section, which all I was missing was some grenades. Now, as I've been working on these trophies, I've also been getting the dog tags in the tanker section, which we need in order to unlock the infinite ammo bandana. As we keep collecting dog tags in the tanker section, we also have to beat a total of 30 guards unconscious. The next trophy is for reaching level 3 grip, which you normally have to do by doing pull-ups. But if you have snake or ride and drop and grab a ledge, it counts as 10 pull-ups, making the progress a lot faster. In the same run, I collected enough dog tags and got the stealth camo for yet another trophy. Now this next trophy is interesting. We need to take a picture of a ghost that looks strangely familiar. Now we need to send Otacon a picture of a marine without his pants and... Get the shots we need. Wait. Why is it called Sexteen? What the fuck? We actually have to get two trophies here for watching something in the casting theater. And for watching Rose kill Raiden. Sucks to suck, buddy. Now we gotta do the boss rush mode, which took no time at all since I could just play the game on the easiest difficulty. It was then that I decided to take a detour from the Monotony and play one of the Snake Tails missions for the next trophy, Tell Me a Tale. These missions are pretty cool and play this one where I play a snake in the Big Show and fight. Fat man! More dog tag grinding in the plant section, and we get the infinite ammo hey. wig and stealth camos. Yay! Hey, let's go trophy, baby. Fucking stealth camo. Alright, it's time for... More fucking VR missions! Fuck me! Oh, wait. I only have to do 50 at least and get first place? Oh shit, I can do that! Huh? Freeze. 
Oh my god. <laughs> nice work. Let's fucking go. <laughs> yeah, that shit only took me two hours. Now then, it's time I truly test my skills at this game. Because we only have one trophy left from reaching that platinum. The big boss requirements are as follows. Extreme or European Extreme Difficulty. Beat the game in under three hours. Zero continues. No alerts other than the mandatory ones. Zero kills. Zero rations used. No radar. And probably the most restricting requirements is to fire less than 700 shots and only allowed to save eight times. All the footage you are seeing is hours upon hours of practicing my every move to be as stealthy and quick as possible. But I'm obviously not perfect. I'll leave you with some clips and my rage at a couple of bosses for you to enjoy. God, finally. What? No, this isn't happening. Jack, you have to answer me. What the fuck happened? Fish and mail, the mission failed. Nani. seen that happen what the fuck was right. that holy right. shit right. bro
What the? F oh my God! No! Fuck! Right. Right. Oh my God! I'm mad. Dude, holy crap! I'm like so fucking nervous. You're sweating. <laughs> my hands are sweating, cause. Are you almost there? I'm almost there. So I'm basically at the very, very home stretch. Mm -hmm. Um, so I now have a big boss rush, and that's pretty much it. And I'm about to use my final save. I have waited my entire fucking life for this moment. I'm not gonna lose here. Push it. The fucking clutch. Snake, do you know who that is? Of course I do. It's Mario. Mario. <laughs> Ooh. Holy shit. It was 15. And I almost died again. Oh my god. Oh my god! You got it? I beat him. Oh. Nice! But I'm not sh <laughs> Give it a sec. Are you just breathing right now? Just waiting? Mm-hmm. I'm seeing all the credits right now. Can't With it, it recording. <laughs> just... Oh, oh god. <laughs> I wish it told you how long... ...you would have. Come on. Show me the money, baby. Got all the grenades. Proximity bomb. Rotten egg. Not a rotten egg. Okay, let's see. Playtime. Two hours, 17 minutes. Saves. Eight times. Continuous. Zero. Alerts. Three, which were, were mandatory, so that's fine. Persons killed. Zero. Rations. Zero. Big boss! There you oh are! Oh my god! Dun, dun, da, dun. Show me that platinum. Dun. Done. Extremely solid. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's been my dream of mine to achieve the best possible rank in every Metal Gear Solid game. And knowing how notorious MG2 is, and seeing it on my screen, was such an accomplishment for me as a gamer. Even to this day, I find this game to be an absolute masterpiece. And I can't wait to start my Platinum journey for my favorite Metal Gear game. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one.